hi there and welcome to my channel today i'm going to be talking about the device in the middle right of the screen which is the road angel you can just see it there with the 20 limit sign on it that tells you what the the limit of the speed on this road is there's 20 miles per hour here and above it it tells you the miles per hour that you're actually doing uh, other than that it's got battery life and it's got the little satellite thing the, the fact that it's got no sound in it just now so it doesn't put any beeps is this useful well for japanese import cars it can be useful because it shows you the miles per hour now japanese import cars often come with the kilometers uh, per hour on the dial and if you've got a dealer which is nice enough or a professional dealer then what they'll do is they will take that dial out and replace it with a mile per hour dial and also chip the the uh, odometer so that it reads in miles per hour as well so that just makes uh, the whole experience of owning a japanese car so much nicer because you're able to drive it with the miles per hour now on the other side you've also got to be aware that uh, a lot of these uh, cars can be altered the speed uh, the odometer can be altered when this has been done so some people may decide to actually convert the kilometers which are already there into miles therefore divided by 1.6 whereas others will just uh, say it's a let's say it's got 60,000 kilometers on it and they'll just switch the odometer so it now reads in miles and that means you've got like it really 60,000 miles recorded as if your car had uh, done 60,000 miles and really it's done about 40,000 miles so you have to do a double calculation to work out the real uh, mileage of the vehicle it's very difficult to tell and it's plus and plus and minuses for both of these um, options uh, however it's a uh, there's always an element that will fraudulently wind back the the clock so say you've got 150,000 kilometers they may just decide, listen, I'm going to add, uh, just take it down to 50,000 uh, kilometers because the Alphards and the, the Nissans will kind of hold that uh, mileage and hide it quite well because they are quite robust vehicles, particularly the Toyota Alphards, very robust vehicles. Um, so you've really got to do your own investigation when you're buying one of these vehicles and make sure that the mileage that the car was imported at is exactly the same as the mileage you're actually seeing. The two elements tie up now there's uh, various different ways to actually get that mileage uh, the correct mileage from the import companies but if they if the dealer that you're buying from doesn't have the paperwork or they bought up a friend who didn't give them the paperwork then you know alarm bells should be ringing anyway back to this uh, little device here these things uh, you can buy them on ebay um, second hand if you just want to use it for the the end the mile per hour uh, or the speedometer um, reasons only but if you're going to use subscriptions subscriptions are quite expensive and uh, how much benefit do you get from them well it's not the most accurate with the with the speed limit sometimes they do they're, they're out by like 15 miles because the local council has decided to actually alter it uh, as an accident local black spot so i wouldn't really count on this um has it got an x-ray uh, radar detector the answer is yes how effective does it work well some of the radars are not detected and effectively it leaves you like a sitting duck um, as well so not the best device if you're looking at for a as a radar detector etc but it's a helpful reminder uh, of localized speed limits and also a reminder that you shouldn't break your um, the speed limits in those particular areas tells you where schools are etc listen guys i hope that was useful probably not but listen uh, there's lots of other videos here which uh, you can look on the Toyota Alpha, the Porsches and the Nissans. Take care and look after yourself. Bye.